Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. I'm David Matthew with the Security Engineering Escalation Group. Today, I will be covering the Sonic Wall TZ600 out of box setup. Here are the topics I will be covering for the Sonic Wall TZ600 what you get out of the box, front and back views, cabling and powering on, setting up the appliance as a network gateway, initial setup using the startup wizard and registering the firewall. Also, please keep in mind that the setup in this video is applicable to most TZ series products. Thank you for purchasing the Sonicwall TZ600. Out of the box, you will find a Sonicwall TZ600, one ethernet cable, one power adapter, and one power cord. This is your Sonicwall TZ600 front and back views. In the right hand column, you will see some of the other TZ series products in the same family. On the front of the Sonicwall TZ600 are your Ethernet port indicator LEDs, a USB port, and your various power status LEDs. On the back side of the Sonicwall TZ600 is your power connector, ports X0 through X9, and your console port. Let's discuss cabling the firewall as a network gateway. Locate port X0, also called LAN, and port X1, also called WAN. Connect the WAN port to the cable or DSL modem for internet access. Connect the LAN port to your PC, laptop, game console, printer, or other network devices. Other ports, such as X2, X3, and up, can be assigned to other networks. In this scenario, the X0 or LAN port is connected directly to the PC, and the X1 or WAN port is connected to a DSL or cable modem for internet access. In this scenario, the X0 or LAN port is connected to a network switch. To the network switch, you may connect your PC, printer, game console, or other network devices. The X1 or WAN port is connected to a DSL or cable modem for internet access. To power on the firewall, plug the power cable from the power adapter to a power outlet. On the front of the firewall, an orange LED blinks during startup, which may take up to two minutes. If your DSL or cable modem has extra switch ports, you may directly connect them to printers, smart TVs, or game consoles. For PCs or servers that need SonicWall firewall or security services, plug them directly to a SonicWall port or to a network switch connected to a SonicWall port. To access the SonicWall admin user interface, connect a PC to the LAN interface. There you will receive an IP address from the SonicWall appliance. To access the SonicWall, open a secure browser to the address 192.168.168.168. For the first time access as an admin user, you will be offered a choice of the setup wizard or to go directly to the SonicWall management interface. At the SonicWall management login page, the default admin username is admin and the password is the word password. Now let's take a walk through the SonicWall setup wizard. Here we are at the SonicWall setup wizard launch page. This is your welcome page. Press next. This is your administrator credential page. The administrator default username is admin, and the default password is the word password. To change the administrator default login credentials, enter the old password, then enter a new password, confirm it, and press next. Here, the WAN port detected a DHCP server and retrieved the network information from the DHCP server. If we wish to manually configure the WAN port, Click on Manual Configure. This option is for when a DHCP is not available or where network parameters must be configured manually. For this demo, we will accept the DHCP network configuration. Press Next. You have now successfully configured your Sonic Wall as a network gateway. Press Done. Now that the setup wizard is done, we can test for internet connectivity. On the Sonic Wall management interface, go to System Diagnostics. Scroll down to the Diagnostic tool and select Check Network Settings. Under Check Network Settings General Network Connections, select the appropriate checkboxes and test buttons. 
You should get successful test responses. But if you get errors, the most common cause is a misconfigured cable connection. Also, please take note that the test results may fail with content filtering due to registration and licensing requirements. Now that your sonic wall has been initialized by the setup wizard, you can register your sonic wall by clicking one of the register links on the system status page. To register your sonic wall from the license management page, enter your MySonicWall username and password and click Submit. If you do not have a MySonicWall account, you can create one by clicking Create MySonicWall Account. A Create Account pop-up will appear where you can enter the needed information and click the Register button to register.